In chemistry, the standard molar entropy is the entropy content of one mole of substance under a standard state, not STP. The standard molar entropy is usually given the symbol S degree, and has units of joules per mole Kelvin, J mole minus 1 K minus 1. Unlike standard enthalpies of formation, the value of S degree is absolute. That is, an element in its standard state has a definite, non-zero value of S at room temperature. The entropy of a pure crystalline structure can be 0 J mole minus 1 K minus 1 only at 0 K, according to the third law of thermodynamics. However, this presupposes that the material forms a perfect crystal without any frozen in entropy, defects, dislocations, which is never completely true because crystals always grow at a finite temperature. However this residual entropy is often quite negligible. Delta G is negative. Entropy is find out by S equals delta H, temperature. Thermodynamics if a mole of substance were at 0 K, then warmed by its surroundings to 298 K, its total molar entropy would be the addition of all n individual contributions S equals K equals 1 n delta S K equals K equals one N D Q K T D T Display style s caret circ equals sum underscore k equals one caret n delta s underscore k equals sum underscore k equals one caret n int frac dq underscore k t dt. Here dq k t represents a very small exchange of heat energy at temperature t. The total molar entropy is the sum of many small changes in molar entropy, where each small change can be considered a reversible process. Chemistry The standard molar entropy of a gas at STP includes contributions from the heat capacity of one mole of the solid from 0 K to the melting point, including heat absorbed in any changes between different crystal structures. The latent heat of fusion of the solid. The heat capacity of the liquid from the melting point to the boiling point. The latent heat of vaporization of the liquid. The heat capacity of the gas from the boiling point to room temperature. Changes in entropy are associated with phase transitions and chemical reactions. Chemical equations make use of the standard molar entropy of reactants and products to find the standard entropy of reaction. Delta S degree Rxn equals S degree products, S degree reactants. The standard entropy of reaction helps determine whether the reaction will take place spontaneously. According to the second law of thermodynamics, a spontaneous reaction always results in an increase in total entropy of the system and its surroundings. Delta total equals delta system plus delta surroundings greater than zero molar entropy is not same for all gases. Under identical conditions, it is greater for heavier gas. See also Entropy Heat Gibbs free energy Helmholtz free energy Third law of thermodynamics References External links Free Energy and Chemical Reactions – Course Notes for General Chemistry R. Paselk, Humboldt State University Standard Thermodynamic Properties of Chemical Substances M. Jolkonen